Hey guys, back for another awesome week. It is nice and warm outside. It'll take us a little while to get used to, um, but it's nice to have some warmth in the gym. Uh, so we are going to be looking to uh, what is coming up on the calendar next, which is going to be Murph. We do Murph on Saturday. It's gonna be May 18th this year. And we're gonna talk a little bit about what it is and why we do it. Why we do it. So Murph is a really important workout to the CrossFit community. Um, it, not only because of how publicized uh, Murph's death, M Lieutenant Michael Murphy's death was uh, through the book, Lone Survivor, through the movie, Lone Survivor, um, but most hero workouts are something that is made up after the, the person has passed away. Uh, Murph is a little bit different. Uh, Murph was originally called body armor by Lieutenant Michael Murphy, and it was something that he did as part of his SEAL training. Uh, it was something that he was able to do when he was overseas. It was something that he was able to do here, and it was in a challenge that he constantly pushed himself to. Um, so this is something that has become very special in the entire CrossFit community, uh, and it's done on or around Memorial Day every year. Um, it is a big challenge, and again, it's in memory of Lieutenant Michael Murphy, uh, who's a Navy SEAL who died in Afghanistan in 2005. He was also awarded the Medal of Honor. Um, this is a workout that it's really hard. It, it takes a while, um, and my method of getting through it is I'm always sitting there thinking about that somebody has it significantly harder than I do, and that's what a hero workout is about. So uh, we're gonna talk about what this workout is, and we're gonna talk about how to pick something that's hard for you, um, but that is also appropriate for you for, for what this workout is. Yeah, and keeping in mind, like Jason said, the point of the workout is to honor those that have fallen. It's not about our time. It's not about how fast we can get through it, right? It's not about PRing it. It's about going through something hard and doing it together and supporting each other. Okay. So let's walk through the workout. Murph starts with a one mile run. It is then followed by 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, and then you finish up, no big deal, with a one mile run. Now fully prescribed is with a weight vest. So let's talk about variations to this. One, should we wear a weight vest or not? If you are someone who is extremely proficient in the movements that are in the workout, right? Running a one mile run multiple times, not a problem. Uh, able to do unassisted pull-ups for 100 reps without any issue, right? Push-ups fully prescribed on the floor with no problem, right? We wanna think about are we fully pro proficient with the movements in this workout or do we scale them from time to time or struggle with them a little bit if we scale them or struggle a little bit a vest is not going to be in the cards okay that's number one number two we want to think about the volume right is a hundred pull-ups something that we can manage is 200 push-ups something that we can manage right so the first thing that we can do with those reps is we can cut them back you can do half Murph or a variation. If the running is not a problem, you could do a one mile run, cut the reps in half, and then finish with the one mile run, okay? We can also do a partner version. That's what Jason and I did last year. That was really great. So the running was done together, and then we alternated and took turns to go through those reps of pull-ups, push-ups, air squats. So at the end of the day, we each did half the reps, but we did it together as a team. That's probably my favorite version yep. of it. But we can do all sorts of variations. Just like in class, we can modify to a bike if we're not running, right? But what we wanna think about is the overall volume and if our body um, can handle that, okay? We're gonna choose one that's challenging, that is gonna push us, but we also wanna be safe, right? So as we're leaning into it, you'll hear coaches talking about it in class. We'll discuss it with you individually so you have a game plan, okay? Now, the other thing to this workout is, this is one workout where you can partition the reps how you see fit. What that means is, it's always gonna start with a one mile run, but then those reps of pull-ups, push-ups, air squats, you can break them up. So total, you have 100, 200, 300, but a lot of people like to break it up into rounds of Cindy. Cindy is five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 air squats. If you do five, 10, 15, that comes to how many rounds, Jason? 20 rounds. 20 rounds. So what it would really look like is one mile run and then 20 rounds of five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats, and then you finish with a one mile run. 
Now, the big thing with this workout, like Jason mentioned, is it's long, right? Most people, it takes 45 minutes to an hour. And that's kind of the, that's the big challenge about it is that you have to just chip away and stay mentally strong as you're moving through those reps. Yeah, so uh, we will be running heats for this on the 18th. Um, so you will see half an hour increments in Sugar Watt, I'm sorry, in the Odin app for you to sign up for. So what that's gonna look like is very similar to how we ran the Open. You're gonna come in, you're going to get here well before, think 30 minutes before your heat time so that you have time to warm up. This is not one where the first round is the warm up. The warm up is the warm up. So you're gonna come in, you're gonna do the warm up that's on the board. Uh, there's gonna be some biking, there's gonna be a little bit of running, there's gonna be some squatting, everything to get your body ready and prepared for all of the reps that you're going to do um, to make sure the first pull up you do is not in the workout, that it's before the workout, right? So you're gonna come in 30 minutes before in the open gym area on the whiteboard or the blackboard, there's going to be a full warm up written. You're gonna make sure that you get all that done. Uh, and then when it comes to your heat time, there is going to be a coach that calls you over to the blackboard, goes through the workout, understands what partition or how everybody's going to be doing the workout. Now notice I did say that we're running 30 minute heats, but Allison said this is a 45 minute to an hour long workout. So heats are going to overlap. But remember this both starts and finishes with a one mile run. So you're going to be out of the gym. So generally speaking, we're only gonna have one group of people that are on the rig or in the gym doing air squats uh, and push-ups at the same time. So other than that, you're going to be passing each other out for your one mile runs together. So the 30 minute heats will overlap, um, but uh, this is a workout that you just start and finish it as you need to, right? It is a longer workout, so please make sure that you're bringing plenty of water. Um, this is even one of those where you might wanna have some little kind of snack to grab uh, in the middle of those rounds of Cindy, whether it's something sugary, like a little piece of fruit or, or like a gummy bear uh, before that second mile run, especially if we have the weather like we have today, where it's gonna be sunny and almost 90 degrees. And even leading into those days, really paying attention to your hydration. Um, dehydration is one of the leading causes of extreme soreness. Um, so we wanna make sure that we're hydrating leading into it and then also hydrating and taking care of ourselves after. Everyone is absolutely capable of doing this workout and doing a version that's right for them. We just want you to kind of prepare and think about the fact that it is a, a little bit of a bigger workout than we're typically used to in class, yeah. right? The people that are doing this workout in the military are extraordinarily prepared to do this workout. So we wanna pick the version of this workout that is right for us to make sure that we're honoring them in the way that they would want to be honored. So uh, we will continue to honor our fallen heroes through Memorial Day weekend as well. Um, we do Murph the weekend before, uh, but on Memorial Day weekend, we will have three hero workouts on a Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, and Monday's hero workout will be a travelable hero workout that you can do from home, you can do from here if you'd like to come in for the open gym that we're having. Uh, but we will have three additional hero workouts on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Okay. Cool, so last thing leading into all of that, as you guys know, we did a fun red, white, and blue um, kind of collection for you guys. Um, so if you would like any of that t-shirt, koozies, um, tank top, we got a fun dad hat. Um, if you'd like any of that and you like it in by Murph so you can rock it during Murph, um, then you need to order this week. We do have samples at the gym, mm -hmm. all the t-shirts, tanks, tops, so that you guys can try it on. Um, we will have also a computer set up at the gym if you'd like to just place your order um, while you're at the gym um, at the online store, you can absolutely do that. So, yeah, cool. really excited for the next couple of weeks. A lot of fun working out. Yeah, let's do it, guys. All right, see you guys.